Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unusor Education. We continue talking about combinatorics. This is part of the Advanced Mathematics for Teenagers course presented on unizor.com and uh, I do suggest you to watch this lecture only after you visit the, the website where this lecture is linked to um, and uh, try to solve all these problems. They are all presented in the notes for this lecture with answers so you can check yourself and only then um, listen to the, the lecture itself. The logic actually is explained in notes as well. Um, all right, so we have spent some time um, talking about poker games, uh, which are definitely related to combinatorics. Now, this is about lottery, which is also um, very much combinatorial kind of activity. Uh, personally, I don't play lottery. Um, I don't think many people who understand the combinatorics and theory of probabilities do, but it's okay. I mean, there is nothing wrong with playing the lottery and hoping for some kind of a chance. It's always, you know, fine to uh, to put some cup, couple of dollars away for good cause for the government. Anyway, so let's just solve these problems related to lottery. Now, the, the game of the lottery which I will be using um, is played according to the following rules. There are 49 numbers from 1 to 49. Eventually, six of them will be declared the winning numbers and you are actually supposed to guess six numbers and depending on how many of whatever you guess with whatever the winnings are really are you will get the prize so the fundamental task which we will start with is let's consider you pick these six cards and what's the probability of having uh, k winning numbers among them so there are six winning numbers and you picked six uh, yourself. Uh, so the question is how many different combinations are there that among your six numbers include exactly k winning numbers and the rest, six minus k, are supposed to be not among the winning numbers. Okay, well to, to solve this problem we have to basically find uh, we have to find how many different combinations of k winning numbers out of six are possible and that's possible in this number of ways number of combinations of k numbers out of six winning now the other six minus k numbers um, are supposed to be the non-winning numbers now there are 43 non-winning numbers right if 49, 6 winning, 43 non-winning numbers. So the rest 6 minus k of whatever you have chosen must be among these. So if you will multiply them together, you will get the number of um, different combinations of 6 cards which you can choose with exactly k of them uh, being the winning numbers. Well, obviously, the greater the number k, the less number of combinations. And if k is equal to 6, for instance, so you guess correctly all 6 numbers, well, that means you have uh, uh, guessed uh, all the numbers, and um, the numbers uh, uh, will be as follows. In case of k is equal 6, we will have um, 6 factorial divided by 6 factorial divided by 0 factorial times that's number of combinations from 6 by 0. Uh, I mean by, by 6. So you have to subtract 6 minus 6 would be 0. And this is 6, zero, six factorial from there. Now, this is 43 factorial divided by, uh, if this is 6, so it's 0 factorial and um, 43 minus 0, that's 43 factorial. Well, which is equal to 1. And that's to be expected, right? I mean, there's only one winning combination of six numbers, and if you want your combination to have exactly six numbers, 
corresponding to the winning numbers, well, that's the only one combination. So, out of how many, by the way? Well, the total number of combination is number of combinations by 6 from 49. And I have actually this number calculated. It's 13,998,000, oops, stop, 19,83,000. Doesn't much doesn't make much of a difference, quite frankly. Eight sixteen. So almost fourteen million different combinations of six numbers exist. So out of these fourteen million, uh, only one is a jackpot, winning all six of them. Now I also have just for an example numbers for k is equal to three. So how many different combinations are there? with exactly three numbers, the winning, and three correspondingly not winning. So that would be 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial and 3 factorial and 43 factorial divided by 3 factorial and uh, what, 40 factorial? Is that right? Yeah. Now, the answer is 246,820. Right. That's number of combinations with three winning numbers. Again, out of 14 million. Which is not much, quite frankly. The chances to win three are, well, better than one, the, 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 than one obviously, uh, when you win all six numbers, but, but still pretty slim. Now, finally, I calculated this for k is equal to 0, uh, and that would be uh, 6 factorial divided by 0 factorial and 6 factorial times 43 factorial divided by uh, 0, so it's 6 factorial and 37 factorial. And this is actually a lot. 6,096,454. So it's 6 million. Well, 6 million out of almost 14 million, it's almost half. So almost half of all the combinations have absolutely no numbers among the winning. So that's the most frequently occurring combination. Okay, so that's the end of the first problem. We have solved basically this for any k, and these are just examples. Um, and this is a simple game of picking six numbers out of 49. There are some more complicated rules, and that's a little, a, a little later I will address. Okay, so now let's talk about... Just a very slight uh, modification to this problem. Um, I would like to know not exactly number of combinations with exactly k uh, winning numbers. I would like to know if it's k uh, or greater. In particular, I am interested is in, in k is equal to 2. Why? Because when you have two winning numbers, you have the lowest possible price. With one winning number guessed correctly, or zero, of course, you don't have any money back. So you basically lose the, 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 the price of the ticket. But if you have guessed at least two uh, winning numbers out of six, you will get something um, back in return. So it's constituted, uh, constituting the winning some winning. I mean, it's a small winning if k is equal to 2, but obviously the, the, the greater the number of winning numbers, uh, the, 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 the greater the price is. But the minimum price is when k is equal to 2. So the number of winning numbers is 2, and I'm interested, okay, what's my chances to win, just in general? Which means I have to calculate whatever I had before, and the formula was this. If I calculate it for k and k plus 1 and k plus 2, etc., up to 6, k is somewhere between 0 and 6, right? 
and add them together, I will have greater or equal than k. Now, for in, in case of 2, I have to calculate this formula for 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and add them together, right? That's the, the, the one way to address this problem. Another way to address this problem would be from um, all the different combinations, subtract those combinations which have 0 or 1 uh, winning number, which is 0 would be this, and 1 would be this. It's just a little bit maybe easier to, to, to calculate. These are two numbers you have to subtract. Here you have to add together for k equals 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, five different numbers. So, but the result is supposed to be the same, right? Now, do I have this result? Yes, I do. It's 2,111,774. So, about 15% of the cases are winning. Um, the rest are zero or one winning numbers and you don't win anything. So, in about 2 million out of 14, which is about 15%, uh, there is some return back. 85% of the lottery tickets bought by people are not winning at all. Okay, so these two methodologies of solving greater or equal, um, that's my second problem. Now, the third problem, um, I'm slightly modifying the conditions of the game, the rules of the game. Not only I'm choosing the original six winning numbers, let's call it main winning numbers, but I also um, would like to have one extra bonus number. It's called the power ball or bonus ball. The ball because the numbers are chosen, written on the balls from some kind of mechanical device. That's how the winning numbers are uh, established. So there is a Powerball lottery which has again 49 numbers. Six main ones are considered to be the main winning numbers and one additional as a bonus number. And now let's consider two different problems. Problem number three is how many uh, different combinations are when you um, guess correctly K main winning numbers plus one bonus number. Okay, so out of whatever uh, numbers you have chosen, well, six actually, you have one definitely the bonus one, and the others, other k, are uh, among the winning numbers. So what's the number of combinations which which satisfy this particular um, requirement. Well, let's just think about, again, how many different ways to choose k winning numbers out of 6? Well, obviously it's number of combinations uh, from 6 by k. Now, one number, which is the bonus number, is already chosen, basically, so we don't have any freedom of choice there. So one of our 6 is definitely this bonus number and it's not really part of any kind of additional combinations. There is only one combination, it's one of one. And what's left? Well, from the six um, numbers which, which I am choosing, I have k which are winning and one which is bonus. And these other six minus k minus one uh, numbers are supposed to be among non-winning and non-bonus, right? So it's 42. From 49 I have to subtract 6 winning and the bonus, so I subtract uh, 7, so 42 remaining. Now, so this is number of combinations of my non-winning, non-bonus. This is the main winning numbers and the product is number of combinations of 6 uh, out of six uh, uh, numbers which I pick, uh, of k main winning and one bonus. So that's the problem number three. Now, the problem number four is k 
k may win, may winning winning and no bonus what choices do i have here exactly the same different number of combinations to pick up k winning numbers out of the six main but then all other which is six minus k numbers um, among those which i have chosen are supposed to be non-winning and non-bonus right so the rest six minus k should be out of 42. from 49 i subtracted six main and uh, a bonus so 42 remains so my other six minus k is supposed to be from there uh, by the way let me just six minus k minus one change it to five minus k if you don't mind that's the same thing okay now here is an interesting thing i have calculated how many different combinations are to have k winning numbers and bonus and to have k winning numbers and no bonus in theory if i add them together i should have exactly the same number as in the problem one when bonus was not really involved at all and i just had k winning numbers out of the six main numbers right well the result from that problem if you remember is this one So the question is, is this plus this equals to this? If it does, it confirms that all my calculations are correct. Well, let's check it out. You see, there is a multiplier number of combinations from 6 by k in this, this, and this. So all I have to prove is that this number of combinations plus this number of combinations equal to this number of combinations. Well, let's try so c42 well i can convert it to factorial immediately so 42 factorial divided by 5 minus k factorial and 42 minus 5 is 37 plus k factorial that's this one now this one is equal to 42 factorial divided by 6 minus k factorial and 42 minus 6 is 36, so 36 plus k factorial. Okay, I have to prove that sum of these is equal to this. Well, let's see. Now, for obvious reasons, right because this is number uh, th this is the product of all the numbers from 1 to n minus 1 if i multiply by n it will be multiplication of the product of all numbers from 1 to n which is n factorial by definition right so in this case i will use this particular property you see 6 minus k is 1 greater than 5 minus k right so if i will multiply this by uh, 6 minus k I will have 6 minus k factorial so what I will do is I will replace this with this I multiply by 6 minus k and put 6 minus k factorial without changing this right using this in this case n is equal to 6 minus k so 6 minus k and 5 minus k factorial that's what it is 6 minus k would cancel out if 5 minus k factorial remains here i will do exactly the same thing this is 37 plus k one greater than 36 plus k i would like to have here 37 plus k so 6 minus k remains i would like to have 37 plus k factorial which means i have to multiply by 37 plus k to to cancel the 37 plus k right now why did i do it well because now i have the same denominator 
So now I can just add them together as two fractions with the same denominator. So it's 42 factorial. I can actually factor out 42 factorial and I have 6 minus k plus 37 plus k divided by 6 minus k factorial and 37 plus k factorial. Now 6 plus 37 is 43. k and k goes so 43 times 42 factorial is 43 factorial, right? Again, using the same uh, identity. 6 minus k and 30 factorial and 37 plus k factorial. Which is equal to 43 factorial divided by 6 minus k factorial and divided by difference so 43 minus 6 is 37 minus k with a minus so it's plus k okay so the checking is working calculations were correct thank you very much <laughs> um, all right uh, I do suggest you to go to the unizor.com website and um, again go through these uh, simple problems and try to solve them yourselves just by yourself again check with an answer and uh, well basically I think it would be a very good exercise for you if you will just do it by yourself and then you can read the logic if you want which is also presented on the website so that's it for this lecture thank you very much and good luck <laughs>